So let's say I have my uh, my quadratic equation in standard form and I want to put it in intercept form. So let me look back here for just a second. Here's what intercept form looks like. Y equals A times X minus Q times X minus P. So in order to get this part of the equation, that comes from just factoring. So let me look back over here. So over here, I just have to factor this trinomial. And I want you to notice something else. That inside the parentheses here, it's essentially that you have a coefficient of 1 on each of these x's. So we're going to have to take that into account too. Okay, so step number one, you always want to factor out the GCF. And if you have a negative leading coefficient, you want to factor that out with it. So we're just going to pull out that negative sign there. Okay, so now I've got this trinomial left over. I'm going to factor that thing. You can either do that by guessing and checking or do the AC method. So whenever I factor this trinomial, I get y equals negative 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 5. Okay, so remember, this is supposed to look like y equals x minus p times x minus q. But here I've got a 2 in there and I've got a 3 in there which I can't have. They have to be a coefficient of 1, which is why we're going to have to divide each of these out. So on this first one, we're going to have to divide out that 2. On the second one, we'll have to divide out that 3. And when I do that, I divide out, I factor out the 2, and I factor out the 3. 2 times 3 gives us the 6 value. That's our original A value. When you're all done, the A value should be the same, no matter if it's in intercept form, vertex form, or standard form. Okay. So, when I divide out the 2, I have to divide both of these things by 2. So I divide that by 2, I get the x, I divide this one by 2, and I get the 3 halves. Same thing over here, but I'm going to divide these by 3. And that's where the 5 thirds comes from. So, in this form, I know that my x-intercepts are equal to 3 halves and negative 5 thirds. So let's try one ourselves. y equals x squared plus 5x minus 14. So all I have to do is factor the right-hand side of this. And this one's a little bit easier since the leading coefficient is 1. Just open up our parentheses. We're looking for two factors, and when they multiply together, give us a product of negative 14, and when we add them together, give us this 5 here. So our two factors have to be a 7 and negative 2. That's a plus 7, minus 2. So here is this equation in intercept form. And our x-intercepts are negative 7 and positive 2. If I wanted to find the vertex of this equation, the vertex, the x-coordinate comes from the average of those two, so negative 7 plus 2 divided by 2, negative 5 halves. And I take that negative 5 halves, put it back into the equation, and solve it for y. Alright, one more. So on this one, I have a negative 8 out front. So I'm going to have to factor out the negative 8. You know what? I don't think I have enough time here, so stay tuned for this in the next video.